In today's lesson, we're going to be learning about dilations. Dilations, if you have heard that word before, you probably heard about it when you were at the eye doctor. A dilation is when you enlarge something or you shrink something. You could dilate it smaller as well, but typically dilations are enlargements. In order to understand dilations, we first need to talk about scale factor. We've talked about this in previous chapters, so hopefully scale factor is not completely new to you, but scale factor is a measure of how much larger or smaller the image is compared to the pre-image. Remember the image, like when you're looking in the mirror, the image is you, and then what you see in the mirror, or excuse me, the pre-image is you, what you see in the mirror is actually called the image. It is the reflection, or it's the... Uh, the object after something has been done to it. So in our picture here, A, the smaller triangle, is called the pre-image, and then the arrow points at the enlarged one, scale factor of two, which means everything was multiplied by two to make it larger, would be called the image, which is A primed. How to calculate scale factor? Scale factor is simply the image length over the pre-image length the new item over the old item, or the original item is on the bottom. That's our formula. Calculating scale factor, use similar sides to create a ratio. As we look at the picture here, we want to create a scale factor. We need the lengths of sides. I really do not want to use the side that connects D to B or B prime to D prime because those are slanted sides we'd actually have to use the distance formula. I want to use sides that I can actually count them off. From A to B, I see three boxes. And from A primed to B primed, I see six boxes. Do you remember the formula in order to calculate scale factor? If not, let's jump back there. It is the image over the pre-image. The image is the item with the primed notation. The pre-image is the items without the prime notation. So we have the image, which is the new object, over the old object. In this case, it would be 6 over 3, which could be reduced to 2. If we need it as a fraction, we would call it 2 over 1. If we need it just as a whole number, we could call it 2. What is the scale factor in this picture? We have a blue quadrilateral and a wet red quadrilateral directly on top of each other. If we measure from G to H, it's 3. From G prime to H prime, which is actually kind of hidden behind it, would also be 3. That means we have a 3 over 3, which is a scale factor of 1. Whenever your scale factor is 1, it means the object has not changed in size. A segment with vertices A at 4, 6, and B at negative 8, negative 3 is transformed into a segment with vertices A at 1, 1 1.5, and B at negative 2, negative 3 fourths. What is the scale factor? The easiest way to do this, if you think at any one point has been changed or made, made larger, we can look at just a single point. If we look at the x coordinate, for the A's, the pre-image was at 4, and the image is at 1. We have a scale factor of 1 to 4. That's comparing just the x-coordinate of the A point. If we look at any other points, it's going to be the same ratio. If we look at the y-coordinate for the x, or excuse me, if we look at the y-coordinate for those, we would get 1.5 over 6, whoops, excuse me, over 6, which would also give us a scale factor of 1 fourth. So our scale factor there is 1 fourth no matter how we look at it. Dilation. A dilation is a transformation that may change the size of a figure. Notice the word may change the size of a figure. It could enlarge or it could shrink. You notice here the dilation of the frog, we went from the small frog to the large frog. It's the same characteristics, it's the same coloring, 
Everything is exactly the same, the same about the frog, it's just become larger. It's like we put it on the photocopier and made it bigger. The variables R or K are typically used to represent the scale factor used to create a dilation. So when we talk about that, draw a dilation with the center of origin, or excuse me, with the center at the origin and an R equal to 2, meaning the scale factor is 2, which means everything is going to get twice as far from the origin. If we look at this in the sense of a ruler, we put the ruler on our picture and measure. Presently, the measurement from the origin to point C is 5 centimeters. That means from the origin to our new point, C primed, will have to be 10 centimeters. We'll put a dot right out here at 10 centimeters. Now we move on to the next piece. Let's do B. Right now the distance from our origin to B is 7 centimeters. That means from the origin to our new B or B primed is going to be 14 centimeters because we double the distance it originally was. Lastly we're going to do point A which Point A is originally, we'll call it 4.7, maybe even 4.8. To the new point, it's now going to be 9.6, or 9 and 6 millimeters. I go to 9 and 6 millimeters, and I put a dot. Now we just simply connect the dots, and we have our new figure. C primed to B primed. B primed to A primed, A primed back to C primed. We have our new object. And that new object should look pretty much identical to the original object. Make sure we name our points C primed, B primed, and A primed. Again, the distance from the origin to C has to be doubled to get to C primed because our scale factor was 2, R of 2. Pre-image to image, multiply by the scale factor. Now if you go from the image back to the pre-image, you divide by the scale factor. Let's look at this last question. If the distance from A to C was 10 centimeters, that's from A to C primed, it's 10 centimeters, we know the scale factor is 2, in order to get back to our pre-image, we would divide by 2 in order to get 5 centimeters. We double it to go from the pre-image to the image, and we divide by it to go backwards. Multiply to go from the pre-image to the image, divide to go from the image back to the pre-image. Very important fact there. Next, a dilation centered at the origin has a scale factor of k equal to 0.5. It is applied to a triangle with vertices 4, 5, 4, 9, and 4, 7. What are the coordinates of the dilated points? The key here is that it's centered at the origin, and we'll talk more later about things that aren't centered at the origin, but we know our k factor, or our scale factor, is 0.5, which means D primed will be at 0.5 times 4 and 0.5 times 5. In order to get the location of the image, we take the pre-image and multiply it by the scale factor. The scale factor is 0.5. 4 times 0.5 gives you 2. 5 times 0.5 gives you 2.5. To find E primed, we do the same thing. We take 4, which is our x-coordinate, times 0.5. We take 9, which is our y-coordinate, times 0.5. And we have our new location. Lastly, we do it for f. 4 times 0.5, 7 times 0.5.
and we have our dilated object. In this case, it actually shrinks it. I knew that because my scale factor was less than one. When your scale factor is less than one, you're shrinking something. When your scale factor is larger than one, you're growing it or enlarging it. Last question. A dilation centered at the origin has a scale factor of k equal to 2. It is applied to a triangle with vertices at d primed, e primed, and f primed. What are the coordinates of the dilated points? Notice here, on the last question, we were given d, e, and f. Notice no prime notation, so I multiplied. In this question, d primed, e primed, f primed, what are the coordinates of the dilated points? We want to know where were the points originally at before they went under the dilation. We're looking for D. If you remember just a couple slides ago, when we're going from the image to the pre-image, we need to divide. That's what we're doing here because we're at the primed or the first image of our dilation. We're going to divide and go backwards. Negative 6 divided by 2, negative 3. 4 divided by 2 is 2 for point E. 2 divided by 2 is 1. Negative 3 divided by 2 is negative 1.5. F was at 4 divided by 2 is 2. And 6 divided by 2 is 3. We now have our new points. That's the end of today's lesson. If you have any questions, feel free to ask.